We're running a test in 357 Magnum, the Hornady Critical Defense 125 grain jacketed hollow point. And here's a close up for you. This is not the first time I've tested Critical Defense. It is in 357 Magnum, but I think I've run all of these or most of these in the primary self defense calibers where you are using a semi auto. And I must say, that red soft polymer tip or rubber tip has performed very well. The purpose of that is to control expansion. This isn't going to expand a great deal. I believe about one and a half times the original diameter, but also it prevents that cavity from clogging and acting as a full metal jacket. So we're looking forward to that. We're gonna be doing this in the Ruger GP100. That is a three inch barrel. That's what I was using just a moment ago for those test shots. And you can see the brass from those in the rain. Advertised muzzle velocity is 1,500 feet per second, smoking along, and that equates to approximately 624 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Now there are my five shots from this three-inch barrel that was chronographed from a distance of 15 feet. Had a little bit of problem with muzzle blast, so I had to back it up just a tad bit. So there's the five shots, and then the five shot average, 1,321 feet per second. That's a drop of about 12% from the advertised velocity. We're next gonna throw this at the block or a block of the SimTest Media, calibrated to match ballistic gel specs, plus four layers of denim. That is an IWBA testing protocol. Great shot placement and check out that circle of hurt that's around the point of entry. Here we go. This is the right side of the track or block as I was cutting down in this direction over that point of entry then working my way back. We're going to focus on the left side over here. You see a little bit of a shock wave, can't you? You see uh, rolling up through here and here. That's the back side of that circle that I showed you on that point of entry, which is right here. About a half inch in, you start to see this cavity and expansion. This cavity about an inch wide here, half an inch deep, and runs to about the four inch mark. So we've got that working right there. That looks a lot like a 357 SIG or a hot nine millimeter or a hot 40, just my opinion there. We're moving on, and there is a track, this peeled right here, but there is a track that runs underneath here, and as I was cutting and kind of angling off to the left, there's the bullet coming in at about 16 and an eighth inches. And note how that polymer tip flattened out, carried right along with the bullet, and ensured that nothing, absolutely nothing, was going to impede that hollow point cavity for the entire path. I just carried this inside and rinsed it with warm water so I can get the measurements, but a quick look at that polymer tip. Looks like someone tagged the bullet with a paintball, but that did the job. Retained weight, including the tip, is 124.7 grains. There's one of the marks, but the average is .607 inches. The critical defense continues to perform well in this testing format. Recoil is manageable out of the three inch barrel revolver. Expansion was much greater than what I expected and penetration of 16 inches is just about right for a self-defense scenario. Thanks for watching.